Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Dmitry Balkovsky of the Reactionary Vlog and I'm introducing to you two videos about a reconnaissance trip of a group of potential Boer settlers in Russia. They were the Russo family with three children and I'd like to note here that uh, the children are very fluent in Russian and uh, Yuhan Vakhrashev who is a fluently Russian speaking South African, a farmer as well and a representative of the South African um, farmer cooperative who who lives in Russia and married to a Russian, so he's almost Russian. And if anyone has any questions or proposals regarding the relocation to rural Russia, please write to the email in the description. I took them to the central Russian region of Ivanova, which is located to the northeast of Moscow, about 300 kilometers. It has a population of about 1 million people and they reside on 22,000 square kilometers of territory. And the region is famous for its uh, fabric manufacturing and for cattle raising and agriculture as well. Even though in, in the past 30 years agriculture has declined in significance, although over the past five years there is a revival of it too. And let me tell you why I chose the region of Ivanova. My mom bought a house in a village there about 10 years ago and she goes there in the summer. So it is a very nice place, very quiet, beautiful views, very nice conservative people. There is an art and crafts center of traditional Russian lacquered boxes uh, called Palekh. It's, it is a small town located about three kilometers from this village where she lives, the village of Krasnaya. And I included some maps just to better orientate you in the huge open spaces of European Russia. So here is the map of European Russia in Russian. And then I'll show it to you in English. So here is Moscow and here is Ivanova. As you can see, this little uh, violet piece of Russian territory. And here you can see this very same map. So this is Ivanova, but in Latin. This is Moscow, it's probably in Italian, so this is the European Russia here. And here is this uh, additional map, just to show you area in focus, Ivanova, Moscow, and Russia. And I found a very useful map of the Ivanova region in English. So Ivanova is here, this is the capital of the region. Uh, this is the second largest town, Shuya, very beautiful. Uh, this is the district where my... Uh, village is where my mom lives, Palikh. On the first day we went to um, Vichovsky district, on the second day we went to the Komsomolsky district, and on the third day we were here in Kinishma. So that's our route in English. And there is plenty of vacant land and houses available for agriculture. So I did some footage of the village of Krasna and of the town of Palikh just to give you a taste of, of this beautiful district. So this here is proper Russia, 100%. Not Stavropol, not the Crimea, but just Russia, native, the heartland. This is the church nearby. Houses here. This is my mom's house. Typical Russian wooden house. And this is the church right across the street from it. And this is a very pretty view from the window of our veranda. This region is very conservative, so uh, the village of Krasna has a very old church and it is noted for never being closed during the Soviet time. And I included some shots from the icon-bearing procession from this village. This is the College of Painters, a famous one, the whole Russia knows it, so these are the surroundings here. And we are entering the town of Palikh. And this is the central street of this bustling metropolis, as you can see. There are cars, trees, houses, and some people far away. And here is the church. In really near so I'm in the park the park is being renovated and the museum it's a new building and Pollock's museums are 
very well stocked, very interesting art there, icons and secular paintings. So here we are, and here is the monument to Uncle Lenin. And this is the shop selling local art and crafts. So let me go in. What they have here, oh, look, it's those lacquered boxes Polly is famous for. This is all locally made, so this is the whole tradition of uh, uh, Russian folk painting. And there are some icons as well. And here. This is very nice. And the sales lady is hiding away from us. Скажите, пожалуйста, помахайте рукой. Прошу, пожалуйста. <laughs> so I spoke to the local authorities and they uh, gladly accepted the board delegation. I arranged the visit and we went. So our trip started in the city of Ivanova, regional capital, and we went to and on the first day we went to the district of Vichuga, where we saw several villages. And hello everybody, Boers, Americans, Europeans around who's watching us. This is Dmitry Balkovsky of the reactionary vlog and we are in the very Russian region of Russia, Ivanova as you can see by, by the name there is Ivan in there uh, and we are uh, guests of the government of the Ivanova region and this is Inessa who is kindly meet and greet us and uh, we are you know there, there is a table nicely laid out so and some boards <laughs> you can see Scattered boards. Uh, scattered boards. And in the, in, the, in the window you can see the panorama, greenery, shiny sunny day. Ivanova likes boards. So at the moment we are right here in the heart of Ivanova. And the capital of Ivanova is incidentally called Ivanova as well. So today we'll be traveling to Vichuga and to Kinishma. And I'd like to know that uh, the, the heads of, of the districts we're going to are very welcoming and they really want to show us the goods, all the, all the best villages and lands that they have. Tomorrow we will be going west to these two nice districts, Gavrilo, Pasaski and Komsomolsky. They are very interested in settlers as well. And on the third day we will either go down south or up north. So we will see how it goes. And here are some, some little boars running in. So here they are. And mommy, that's your space. Yes. Yes indeed. Exactly. Alright. Wait. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh, that a girl. Alright. <laughs> And here is Dmitry Balkovsky <laughs> with the boars. We are in the village of Gridnitskaya, the Ivanova region. Very pretty, very yeah. green. Lots of houses needed to be filled, but there are residents here too. Very excellent place for uh, cattle raising and just for a nice, quiet, peaceful living. Nothing... Even good opportunity for electricity generation. Electricity generation, says uh, Andre. Here we are, the boars. Ivan, please show yourself too. <laughs> Come on, Jim. He's on the other side of the screen. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm showing what you are saying also to show your the other face, South Africans who are interested in yeah, my dear South Africans, I'm uh, here. I'm with. This is a traditional Russian well, like real village-like. Yeah, the, the the a water bogey lives down there. They say so. The water is clean. Just look at this beautiful view. The picture of peace and contentment. Look at the running war children. <laughs> Look at them run and uh, frolic. Yeah, this, beautiful, the beautiful, house beautiful. is just. This is like Mother Russia 100%, I'm telling you. The okay. birch tree. Look at the kids disappearing. Yeah, yeah, the kids disappear in green grass. It's all ecologically pure. We'll, we're going to grow gorgeous. asparagus here. Gorgeous. And snails. Asparagus and snails. We're going to be putting snails on asparagus. Whoa. 
And it's going to be, yes. Asparagus snails and cherries. And cherries. Oh, cherries. yeah, that, that's going to be asparagus snail cherry oh, salad. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. Look at this. Though. Just, uh, ah, Russia, <laughs> Russia. This is 100%. beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a village of Vertiva. So there is, there is no gas, but there is electricity. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. This is the village of Barotkina. Locals, a doggy, and a mistress of the house. And very pretty, very pretty views here. And we have the Boers in the village of Kazarkina. That's the next destination. And lots of abandoned houses and some are in good order. For example, that one. So lots of land, they're very excited. And the sun is shining, the skies are blue. And some pretty girls in the Russian village. And a couple of words from the Russian-speaking South African farmer, Yuhan Vakhrushov. Boor uh, in, in a two-tone short in the Russian village. Yeah, it's uh, always good when I travel around the world to recognize a fellow Boor just by our uh, yes. two-tone working shirts. Yeah, yeah, traditional but, working shirts, yes. Yeah, it's... And here you have some redhead Boor children playing with water. Yeah. Because Russia is famous... <laughs> There is plenty of water, that's what I'm trying to say. So that, this is what they're doing. On the second day, we're going to the district of Komsomolsky, which is located on the opposite side of the village we were staying in, the village of Krasna. And on our way, we went through the town of Shuya and saw some local architectural scenery. And we have arrived to the town of Shuya with the Boer delegation. And this is the monument to the um, clergy who were executed by the communists. And this is the second tallest bell tower in Russia, Belfry. There were a lot of Orthodox priests and nuns murdered and tortured and raped by the light-bringing uh, communist government. So you can see the, the monument and it says, grateful descendants to the new martyrs of Russia. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Dmitry Balkovsky again, and we're visiting another beautiful, green, luscious Russian village. You can see that it's raining, but we're still here because it is a very good chance to get even more taste of, uh, even though I've shown you a lot already, to get even more taste of how Mother Russia is in, in her heart. Uh, we have here a very nice group of people, the management of the district. They're very supportive, very kind, very keen. Not bureaucratic at all, very like uh, entrepreneurial. And we have uh, uh, this beautiful Boer family here, of course. Oh, oh, here, oh, here he is. Here's the father of the family, Andre, the beautiful children, Ivan and Johan. South African Russian or Russian South African. And Maria, she's from Moscow and she's the newspaper correspondent. So, so we got the media, we got the management, we got the village, the greens, everything. If I were, in South Africa or in Germany, I'd just, I'd run here. I wouldn't just tell, I'd run, I'd run. And all these lands ahead are free. They're easily leased from the, from local administration. So some houses, as potato patches, and our delegation, local administration and our dear boers here, as you can see. So this is all looking very nice and green again. All available. On the third day, we went to the district of Kinishma, the real bear corner, as we call it here in Russia, uh, but with beautiful scenes and a lot of possibilities. Here we are in the village of Belausikha, district of Kinishma. It's like a deep Russian rural area. At the very front, you see the, those white logs. This is a typical Russian traditional log house. And a local lady. Bear and a junkyard dog. That's a bear dog. But he's quite... Uh, he's quite content oh, nice. too. And locals kindly treated us with some dried fish. Very kind, nice, hospitable people. That's amazing. Oh, you got it,
Да? Пакета-то нету вот. Mm -hmm. no and this is again in the village of Belausiha. We see this beautiful house. It's inhabited. Uh, some people from Moscow live here. And this village is about 450 kilometers uh, to the northeast of Moscow. And look at the beautiful uh, window decorations. They're called Nalishniki. Uh, and here's Andre Russo sharing his view of what he has just seen. Tell me, what's your impression of this place right now? Very nice. This is in this magnificent, view. magnificent. Uh, the forestry, the river, uh, once again, we're obsessed about water. And uh, the water quality here is extreme, extremely good. We just had some delicious dried fish from the local river, apparently in Mama, abundance. Um, the air is The amazing. fertility is incredible. As far as I understand, this is one of the old, uh, one of the old Soviet farms. Uh, it, it was, and it used to be a very rich village before the revolution no, too. We could see it. There's, 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 uh, you can see the bakery, yeah, yeah, for instance, is a edifice of wealth. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, very clearly, it was at some point an extremely successful village. There's, yes. there's many different industries at work here. Uh, the forestry alone is extremely attractive. Very, very high quality wood, both poplar and um, what is the other beech? Birch. Birch. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic quality wood. Um, and the fields are very good. The potatoes are growing nicely. The ground is not quite as uh, dense and rich as what we looked at yesterday, but nevertheless, extremely fertile, especially in the floodplain here. Yeah. You can see this is an annual floodplain. Very clearly, the ground quality here will be of extraordinary quality. Um, yeah, fat. So very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. And uh, yes, I obviously a lottery building to be done here. But I don't see too much of an issue here. In fact, there's a local industry uh, right here that builds prefabricated wooden houses from birch right. for very, very cheap prices. So uh, it, it's a matter of basically just build, do it yourself as but you get here. But even old houses can be recycled. Right. right. So right. I mean, it's not like it's completely destroyed. It's a. Todd. It's a matter of actually just taking a part and rebuilding. And I've just I've just been told that there is a legend that there is a uh, treasure hidden somewhere. Cougarans. Cougarans. Yeah, yeah. Can, uh, it'll Bonjour. be for Cougarans. And if it is found, uh, the whole uh, the whole village will be rich. So uh -huh. That's, that's really a good reason. That's, uh, South Africans are pretty superstitious, and uh, we've spent many centuries looking for the Cougarans, yeah, even yeah. though they were only lost for one century. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll find some treasure here too. All right. I can honestly see that there is a certain number of people in our group that would be very eager for this. Despite its remoteness, it's, it's still, there's accessibility, there's a, mag a magazine not too far away. and the right. so, um, It is a long drive, but it's a long drive from where we were. It's perhaps not such a long drive from yeah. Nova itself. The remoteness in itself is actually attractive. It's warm, it's soft, the air is soft. Soft, 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 and that's that's fantastic. Right, um, well, it's really attractive. It is really, really attractive. What do I think about Russia? Yes, what do you think about Russia and then the one of region in particular? I really, the villagers really love are so love friendly. The, the villagers are so friendly. Russian people have been very, very helpful to us the whole way. Uh, the food is absolutely incredible. This is an amazing thing, and this place is is it's exceptional. And now we're going to go see a cow, a real life cow. See all the cow patches and it's just been milked. Oh, here she is. There's two of them. That's a bull. And the cow is there. And here's the mistress. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and please write to me at db at goldenfront.ru uh, if you have any questions or proposals. You'll find my email address in the description. Bye-bye.